the right balances between the trade-off of protecting people's lives and the economic hit? I mean, do you see a situation where the global economy could be virtually at a standstill for a year or even more? Well, it won't go to zero, but it will shrink. Global GDP is going to take, uh, you know, probably the biggest hit ever. You know, maybe the depression was worse or 1873. I don't know. But in my lifetime, there, this will be the greatest economic hit. But you don't have a choice. People act like you have a choice. People don't feel like going to the stadium uh, when they might get infected. You know, it, it's not the government who's saying, OK, just ignore this disease. And, you know, people are deeply affected by seeing these deaths, by knowing they could be part of the transmission chain and you know, old people, uh, their parents, their grandparents could be affected by this. And so you don't, you know, you don't get to say, uh, ignore uh, what's going on here. There, are, there will be the ability, particularly in rich countries, to open up if things are done well over the next few months. But for the world at large, Normalcy only returns when we've largely vaccinated the entire global population. And, and so, you know, although there's a lot of work on testing, a lot of work on drugs that we're involved with, you know, trying to achieve that ambitious goal, which has never been done for the vaccine, that rises to the top of the list.